Hello, I'm Wang Pengli from Tencent Cloud. I'm a long-term active KVM contributor in community. Today, I will introduce some KVM latency and scalability optimizations. This is today's agenda. Firstly, I will introduce FastPass for both API delivery and the TSC deadline timer. Then I will introduce how to boost vCPUs that are delivering interrupts. ICR and the TSC deadline MSR write cause the main MSRs write VM access in cloud environment observation. Multicast APIs are not as common as unicast API like reschedule vector and the call function single vector. We introduce FastPass handler to handle certain performance critical MSRs in a very early stage of KVM VM exit handler. After writing SCR VM exit, various guest states save and host states load various condition checking host interrupts and the preemption enabled, and also expensive RCU operations. We even can be interrupted or preempted after host interrupts and preempted enabled. This mechanism is specifically used for accelerating writes to X2 APIC ICR that attempt to send a virtual API with physical destination mode, fixed delivery mode, and a single target. The region is mechanism significantly reduce the latency of such virtual API is by sending the virtual API to the target vCPU in a very early stage of KM exit handler before host interrupts are enabled and before expensive operations such as requiring KVM SRCU lock. We can observe 30% latency reduce for API benchmark and 22.3% latency reduce for KVM unit test. AMD SVM introduced hardware acceleration to boost virtual API performance. The source API doesn't need to VM exit when sending unicast API or multicast APIs in most conditions. The virtual API can be sent to target virtual CPU directly. We ran Hackbench and API Benchmark on one AMD ROM server, two sockets. 96 cores, 192 threads. The VM is 180 vCPUs with SAP exposed. We can observe 3% hackbench performance improve. It benefits single target API. However, we observe 55.2% API benchmark performance drop for multicast APIs, it is weird that hardware acceleration worse than software emulation. Now I will introduce virtual TSC deadline timer fast pass. Both ARM timer and timer fair incur VM exits. KVM does various housekeeping tasks before emulation. We implement a fast pass for emulation of writes to the TSC deadline MSR. Besides shortcutting various housekeeping tasks in the vCPU loop, the fast pass can also deliver the timer interrupt directly without going through KVM request pending timer because it runs in vCPU context. We also implement a fast pass for the permission timer VM exit. The VM exit can be handled quickly, so it can be performed with interrupts off and going back directly to the host. We can observe slightly test latency reduced by 16.5%.
Next, I will introduce the mechanism to boost preempted VCPUs. To mitigate long holder preemption issue, VCPU which spin is detected by hardware will enhance VCPU yield time to long holder candidate VCPU which is selected by heuristic algorithm. Now we want to boost not just log holders but also VCPUs that are delivering in the rust. Most SMP call function many calls are synchronous, so the API target VCPUs are also good EU candidates. We boost VCPUs during wake up and interrupt delivery time. Next is boost QHead VCPU. Due to the FIFO order spin log algorithm, whenever a hypervisor preempts the next waiter that has not yet acquired the log, even if the log is released, no other thread is allowed to acquire it until the next waiter is allowed to run. Overcommitment increases the likelihood that the QHead VCPU may have been preempted and not actively spinning. Reschedule QHead VCPU timely to acquire the lock can get better performance than just depending on lock ceiling in the right scenario. The lock holder VCPU used to the QHead VCPU when unlocked to boost QHead VCPU which is involuntary preemption or the one which is voluntary how due to fail to acquire the lock after a short spin in the guest. The last one is the new hyper call to you to API target. When sending a call function API many to VCPU, yield if any of the API target VCPU was printed. We just select the printed target VCPU which we found since the stage of target VCPU can change underneath and to avoid the risk conditions. Let's see the performance number. We test this on a Leon Cascade Lake, two sockets, 48 cores, 96 threads. Each VM is 96 VCPU. One VM is running eBasic benchmark, other VM running CPU bound workload. We can observe 3.4% improvement for one VM to 24% improvement for 2 VMs, 48.3% improvement for 3 VMs. SMP call function many calls can be in call function interrupts and the TLB shutdown pass. We disable parallel virtual TLB shutdown feature in this testing. Since call function interrupt is not easy to be triggered by user space workload, 